I'll tell you what, it's a lot funner making videos after Bills wins. And we had a lot of them this year. We had a lot of exciting games, including this one in the playoffs against the Texans. Up 16-0 at half. First quarterback in NFL history of the playoffs to have a 40-yard run and catch a touchdown pass. Why does that matter? Because it's a play that we made. It's a big play that we made. And Allen was incorporated in that. John Brown throws a second touchdown pass. And I didn't see it coming, and it was a beautiful, terrible pass by Brown. It was a wobbler, but it got to him, and that's all that mattered. Uh, I can go tons of different ways with this video. Uh, I'm, uh, to the point where I thought we were totally out of it um, when it was 1916, but then they decided to go for it on fourth and one, and we stopped them, and Allen and company drove us down the field to tie it up 1919. Did Allen take some unnecessary sacks? Sure. Did Cody Ford need to block that guy? No, but it was a clean block. I mean, it was clean. It wasn't like he chipped him in the back. It was, you know, they were facing each other. Unnecessary, but it's a penalty, I guess. Beautiful pass to Duke Williams. Caught the, It was a first down. I wouldn't have wanted anybody other than Josh Allen in that football game for us. I will ride... Allen, for as long as he's with us, because he, the, and I, I don't want to over exaggerate, but the heart that this kid showed, I, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how we could talk about it being his fault or, um, he didn't play good. I can't picture the game without him, to be honest. Singletary had a great game too. Duke Williams had a great game, you know, and and who's at the who's at the core of that? For me, it's Allen, without a doubt. Did he have some silly plays? I don't know what that little lateral was. He acted like that was the last play of the game. That was that was a head scratcher. Taking a couple sacks was was you know you don't want to do that. He did it, and, you know it wasn't. I, I mean. You know, not cool, but, you know, he made mistakes. And that, that flick, though, was one that I was like, well, whew, thank goodness that that wasn't a penalty. And they ended up getting it out of bounds, and it saved us. But um, uh, I forget when that was. Was that to go tie it up? I think it was. So, but my heart goes out to Allen. My heart goes out to this football team. They showed me something this year that I've never seen in the Bills. And, and, and uh, you know, my fanhood as an adult. And I'm proud of them. I'm going to keep the head up. And I encourage every one of you Bills fans to keep your head up. Boy, was it loud in there. You know, the Bills, Bills fans were rocking. We heard every single one of you. And, you know, I'm going to keep my head high. It hurts. But when it was 1919 and we went to overtime, I was with my dad and my wife, Lisa. And I told her and him that I'm content however this game finishes off. And we still had an opportunity at the end there. Two guys on him collided into him and Watson busts out. And he makes that play. And the game's over at that point. We were going to get the ball back. And Allen to that point was pretty much moving the ball. Our first three and out was, I forget when it was, but it was late into the game. Late. So props to Allen. That's our future right there. And the reason I'm really just gassing up Allen is because I can't picture it without him. And that's all I'll say. I don't want to argue anybody. I don't want to, you know, could he have done this? Could he have done that? Sure. It's his second year and he will learn. But wow, what a good start. What an exciting wild card football game. I'm already getting excited for next year. Let's strap it up. Get our heads up. See who wins the Super Bowl this year. I know Allen's probably already at the drawing board. Guys, Good season overall. Really good, proud, and grateful for this football team this year. McDermott and Bean did a hell of a job getting this team to where it needed to be. The defense was good. Hopkins, you know, in the second half started to come alive a little bit. Did you think he wasn't gonna? Of course he's gonna. And he did. But, you know, and Watson did what he had to do. He made, you know, they they, they started running Watson up the middle and, 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 and you know, 
on the outside edge. They started doing it, started working it. And we couldn't stop it for a lot of the time. But we had our chances. Fourth and one, stop them. Go and tie it up. Overtime, stop them. Get the ball, the, the penalty. And again, he completed the pass to Duke Williams. Penalty brought us back. Had to punt it. You know, I mean, no excuses for anything. I'm just saying that we had our chances. We had our opportunities. So did they. And then it came down to Houston just winning the game. But uh, I'll leave you guys with that. And uh, this is my season-ending video. I'll be back. I'm going to do some stuff. But I just wanted to let you guys know post-game how I felt. I love our boy, Allen. I love our team. Go Bills.